Hey guys, this is Petoxide, and this is guide on how to get Bone Reaper's Hook, the hidden artifact for Unholy Death Knights. So, before you even begin, you need to know that your artifact knowledge needs to be level 6 or higher. You check that by opening and shift right clicking your weapon, you scroll through the number and you see artifact knowledge. Mine's currently 9, you need to make, you need to have 6 or higher. After that, that you know that you have level 6 or higher, the only thing you need to do is you need to have as many face ring wounds in your target, the number 8, because that's the maximum number, and you just simply press Apocalypse. And then one of those ghouls has a chance to spawn you a uh, work death knight, and after the battle is done, after the ghouls die, that work will drop the book. He will also say something at the beginning when you spawn him so you can be extra like you will notice him when he spawns so and you will be super hyped and out of your mind and it actually happened yeah um, so something to make things easier for you you go under talents and you spec into infected claws because that's just gonna make your pet stack up face ring wounds so you go to the target, you don't need to put up diseases, all you want to do is just get the face ring wounds. So now we got that up, we just press apocalypse, we got 8 ghouls, and one of those ghouls would have a chance, we didn't get it, I already have it, I don't think it's gonna happen again. Um, so to make this process a lot faster, we go here to enter proving grounds. So you enter the scenario, you go back to the dummy, you spam and you got 8, except we're in the proving grounds. Why we're going into the proving grounds is because we want to make sure, it doesn't matter what you pick here, we want to make sure that we reset our cooldowns so we speed up the process. Basically, I was doing this non stop for like 6 8 hours. Once we're back, we just press apocalypse again, boom again, two face ring wounds, uh, strikes, and apply face ring wounds. We go back and we just repeat this until we actually get it. If you're actually gonna spawn the ghoul and you're worried that you're gonna leave it behind, it's actually gonna drop it, uh, it's gonna drop the book in the proving ground, so you don't need to worry about that. You will also see the chat bubble and you can always go back, so there's no issues there. Um, I will include in the script, if you actually already spawned it before and you just didn't pay attention or something, uh, the script's gonna say true, so in case it does say true, that means you already spawned it. You don't need to read the book in order to get this artifact. You just need to spawn the orc and that job is done there. Um, if it says false, that means you need to keep grinding this and you need to keep spamming apocalypse until the ghoul actually... Um, the orc spawns and he gives you the book. So, once that is done, that is your ticket to go to Icecrown Citadel and enter the Portisite secret lab and once you're inside the mobs are scaled with your 110 level HP and this and that stuff so you need to go through those and then uh, one of those mobs is gonna be looking like this sludge belcher over here um, and he's gonna be the one that's gonna give you this bone reaper hook. There's different skins for this weapon. And the first one you unlock is the one you get for doing 100 dungeons while this artifact is equipped. The second one is by completing 200 world quests. And the last one is by killing 1000 players with this hidden artifact. So yeah, this is pretty much the guide on how to get the Bone Reaper hook. I hope this helped you out. Make sure you give it a like. Make sure to share it around and uh, tell anyone that plays in Holy Death Knight to get a chance to get this awesome hidden artifact. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, peace out.